year, we have learned to be persevering. We never gave up and continued to dream and grow in spite of adversities. We have learned once more how important it is to work as a team, supporting each other, pushing each other to overcome fears and limits. This rehearsal process has brought everyone so much joy. We're so proud. We hope you will enjoy it as much as we did. Theatre owner Buster Moon wants to promote his struggling theatre following financial problems put up by bank representative Judith. He arranged a meeting with his friend's grandmother, Nana Nodoman, who is a former opera singer and stage actress. She is hesitant to sponsor the money, but agrees to watch a private preview of Broadway highlights. The show is far from being a success. There is no budget for scenery, costumes or backstage crew, and the performers compete against each other for visibility and power. So Buster's plan starts to fall apart as Judith threatens to repossess the property. In spite of all the conflicts, Buster remains optimistic because as he always says, the good thing about hitting rock bottom is there's only one way left to go, and that's up. He was only six years old. Some folks may have said he got to be the greatest instrument he had ever seen. But oh, there will never be any doubt. The name Buster Moon will go down in entertainment history. And I should know because I am Buster Moon! 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 Miss Curly Water, what's going on? You got a lot of people wanting to see you, Mr. Moon. I do? Holy moly, I really do. Yeah, it's a stage crew and the performance from your last show. This is how the pouch exposed. Um, tell them I put on the bank and make sure they're paid. Oh, I got driven from the bank holding long, on line two right now, sir. Um, actually, I'm going to have to call her back. Oh, what should I tell her this time? Come on, oh, woman. Woman. We, we know you're in there. there. Okay, listen. We both know that my theater has been going through some pretty tough times lately, but... Uh, put her right there, Buster. We look here and we're still gonna see one cool song like... Eddie, you tell that friend of yours I am not finding any more of those shows. And that's final. Those were his words. Your dad's right. The previous shows were the problem. Work attrition. Rosie takes a bow. I mean... Nobody wants to see that stuff anymore, so what do I do? Quit? No. 
I get him on show, they cannot resist. Which is gonna be Zoro, please! Broadway! Really quick, we'll just see another one of those! Everyone, just think! Your neighbor, the grocery store manager, that one is sitting there. We need to show everyone that theater is everything but dead. Master, this is a terrible idea. Oh no, it's not! A devastating part of theater! That's what I want and I'm going to give it to them! Miss Crowley! I need you to call Zen and Lemon! This year's alive and we'll show her! Master, no, no, not my grandmother! No, what's the idea? What's the idea? What's the idea? No! no. Oh, no, no. Just look at you, dear. Wow. You look a day over 90. Oh, my gosh. Oh, lucky me. I this to my useless, grumps and disgusted old theater friends. Okay, Nana. I would like to be a sponsor for the most prestigious shows of all time. Oh. I see. You don't have the money, do you? Well, you don't get a stand out of me. Your pathetic shows are there to me that we are no longer as an audience. Oh, but this show is gonna pack them in like it did in the good old days. They were not the good old days, Mr. Moon. They were magnificent. And this theater of yours used to be a palace of wonder and magic. But Nana, it still is. In fact, I've made it even more spectacular. No, you haven't. Say for yourself, a special performance just for you. What do you say, Nana? I'd say you're probably lying, Mr. Moon. Great. It's going to blow your way, Nana, and that is no lie. Everyone, gather up. Nan Lemon is here. She's got some pretty high standards and a bucket pocket too. So today, we're gonna have a full dress rehearsal and I want to see you right up the stage. Yeah! yeah. Oh.
Guys! Guys! Where are you? Where were you? You were supposed to get in before, and where is Sam? Blame the costume designer! We only got the costume a second ago! What do you expect? We have absolutely no budget and we couldn't afford a costume! I had to make all the costumes by myself, one by one! Guys, you're ruining my scene! Where is Sam? I'm not wearing this. People will laugh at me. It's a comedy. You're not supposed to laugh. But the color is wrong. The fit is wrong. And nothing about it is the character I've been creating. And I don't want them to laugh. I look silly. I got to knit the tights. No, please. I beg you. Not tights. Then put it on. Look at the other. They look silly and are completely fine. We are not fine. These costumes are so heavy, I can hardly stand. Oh man, yours looks like say something. Mine is too tight, down there. I can't even breathe. Listen, these heavy clothes do not only affect my voice, but they make me feel exhausted, as I need much more energy with this iron weight on my body. I'm not happy wearing this. This is not flexible. You should have used another fabric. My wig is too heavy and it's hurting my neck. You are a pain in the neck. The show must go on. Come on, see, it's getting up. Believe me, this is already very stiff. You don't get this. This will not only affect my voice, but also my dignity. I can't move. I can't get up. You look like a cockroach. My pants just broke. I quit. I walked night and day for this show. I even had to ask the mothers at my daughter's school to help me. They called them their own mothers. But they quit too. Enough. I will not put up with this. Wait! Don't leave us! Let him go! It is bad luck to wear yellow on stage, and he should know it. Oh God! This is terrible! Miss Holly! Hello? Who is it? God? It's me, your boss, Mr. Moon! Oh, hello, Mr. Moon! Miss Holly, our costume designer has just quit. Well, I spot you what you can do. Oh, sure, Mr. Moon. Oh, Judith from the bank called again, and they told her, I told her you were here, and she will pay you a visit later. No, 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 Miss Rowley. What have you done? Oh, this is killing me. We need a drastic change. Next number. Guys, you better be ready to work harder than you've ever worked your life, because we need this money. I promised Nana something spectacular, and this has to blow her away. Yes! yes. yes. Don't do it, Mr. Moon!
what's wrong with you? To be honest, I'm terrified. There, I say it, petrified. There's so much to remember. There's how to walk, and how to stand, and what you're gonna do with your hands, what I'm gonna do with my hands. No, I don't even think about it. But the only thing I can do is put on my chest, but that looks dumb. So I'm just standing there. I lose the truth. You are a bad actor, and that's the truth. Ah! I can't remember any of my lines. I need a script. Ah! No! 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 You are not supposed to be the pillow fight. Look at this. It's a mess. Sandy, Sandy, come over here. These pillows are cheap. You should put memory foam pillows. Memory foam, huh? You see this face? This is my disappointment face. Sandy, clean this mess now. I don't see a single feather on stage. Here, we're sure to match the ears. They quit because they're aware I'm getting paid. Well, you get fired if you don't get going. Clean this now. Yes, Ronald. It's the state manager for you. Now get going. Da, da, da. These fellas are not flying back into their pillowcases by themselves. Yes, Ronald. Sorry, the state manager, sir. And you? You miss your light doing the solo. Find your light before you speak. Don't speak until you feel the light on your face. He stood there and there are too many props. I almost get squashed and the bucket leak. They are poor quality. Well, you're in the wrong place at the wrong moment. You deserve being squashed. I cannot deliver my lines clearly. <laughs> this fear falling, physical harm, and this orientation. And I can even find my bearings with all this smoke. <laughs> Sandy, what did I tell you? Easy on the smoke machine! Easy on the smoke! Sorry! Don't be sorry! Be better! I didn't get to be where I am today by being sloppy! You got it? Details! 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 Now clean everything! I'm Jan. I do all the work and you take all the credit. Hide yourself and our assistant. Sandy, Sandy, come back here now, Sandy! You are not my boss anymore. I quit. Good luck. No! To be someone good luck before a show is Balan, and he said it. I hear him with my own two eyes. We're all gonna die! We are all gonna, gonna die! die. Mr. Moon, I have to get from the bank. What? Oh, no, no. Tell her I call her back later. I can't. She's right here. I will be right back. You know, challenging someone, and if your accounts are not set up by the end of the day. Okay, Judith. I personally guarantee this show is going to be the biggest hit this city has ever seen. You'll get the money today. Mr. Moon, none of your shows have ever worked. None of them. You had your chances. Now stir your guns or we will possess his property. Okay, tell him. What I do, Mr. Moon? We need to press now so she gives us the money. Next number. Everyone, gather up. We're running out of time here, and we still cannot convince Nana. Buster, listen to me. This show is not going to set your future. You're at some rock and roll so far. Yep. But you know what's great about hitting rock and metal? There's only one way left to go, and that's up. We are ready.
I can do it. In fact, I can do it better. Or I could play her part. I'm happy to help. Quit being over this already. She would do it. But you know, I'm a lot better. Not that I feel that she has ten nines and I only have nine. You're just bitter. I'm not bitter at all. I love my part and I'm a team player. It's just that I always wanted to do with you. Which is an incredibly awesome show, and I will have made the best alphabet ever. But it's okay. I'm completely okay with being all and wearing an awful costume. Well then, let her do it. But if you feel the pressure's too much, I will be happy to take your part. I mean, I've done it before. Not your part, but I've been in three shows before this, so I kind of think it's my turn to do the lead now. Besides, I know I would do a lot better. So if you want to step down right now, I'll be happy to take your part for you. I don't want to step down. How we vote on this, maybe? No, we're not voting. I just think the rest of the cast should decide who gets to play Alphaba. That's a fair thing to do. Guys, I'm missing the article already said it because of this scene. No one is good to say. You think this is a democracy? No, this is a dictatorship. I wish you already speak my scene and never question it. I to say. We're not going to make any tough changes at this point, okay, everyone? Fine. I don't blame me if the song is terrible. Hey, stop. We're going to have a great show, okay? Now see. Something has changed within me. Something is not the same. I'm through with playing by the rules of someone else's game. Too late for second guessing. Too late to go back to sleep. It's time to trust my instincts. Close my eyes and leave. It's time. Out of tune. Out of tune? Out of tune? How dare you? I happen to have studied at the Lincoln School of Music. You are still out of tune. Believe me, you and I are out of tune. Shouty, shouty, shout, shout, acting. Honey, you will tell your voice if you keep on screaming. I'll kill you. I'm <laughs> Guys, calm down. Ren is watching. You think this argument that you about to say? Enough! You demonstrated a selfish, self centered act and your jokes. No respect for the theater. It's tradition or actors. You're fired! What? What? This is not your fault! Don't you dare speak about my work again! And next time. Pick up someone else, yeah, bully. Oh, God, please. So 
tell me this is a nightmare. It's not a nightmare. Katie, please tell me out. Everything is going wrong. It's someone. It's stupid from the bank again. Ha! Ah, Tilly! Hello! The clock is speaking with someone. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. You have nothing to worry. The money is on its way. I can't wait to repossess this property. A shopping center will make an excellent substitute for a decadent little theater. Nice deal! Ha ha! Hello! We're running out of chances, but I'm not losing hope. Next number! Please, everyone! This chance is war. The stage is your battlefield. Your song is your weapon. Now it's our last chance to blow Nana away. Yes, enough time to rehearse. Why not? Quarantine? Ah, oh, never mind. Cindy, can you please refer the steps so we can get started? Sure, no problem, guys. Just remember what we practiced. Step, step, spin, shake. Step, step, spin, shake and back. Arms up, arms, arms down. Front, front, side, shake, shake, wiggle. Stop, stop, stop. Hey, we're trying here! And what about you? Why are you not dancing? I have a medical condition which doesn't allow me to follow directions. What? You can follow directions! Uh, I'm missing an enzyme. I have a note. Okay, okay. Tell you what, just do what you want. How come he gets to not follow directions? I don't want to follow directions either. Stop! I've got a new plan for all of you. This is a really great plan for which you don't need to have any skills, okay? It's called swaying back and forth. Can you do that? Sway, 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 sway. Stop! You're doing it wrong. You're doing this wrong. You're swaying wrong. Whoa! Miss Pashkas, I'm not finished with you. What is wrong, Cindy? Can you please get started? Miss Bashkas, they can't dance. Can we please replace them in girls with mustaches? Please, I'm begging you here. They're awful. No, no study for coming sake or I will poison you. Step, 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 step
Guys, well done, but the scene still doesn't look right. Aha, idea. What if you are warm mustaches? I think I mentioned it before. I can't wear a mustache. I have very sensitive skin. I'm not gonna be up on this show. You always make me pay the boy. Because I'm tall. Well, I'm not doing it this time. Find someone else to wear fake beard and put their hair up in a hat. I want to be pretty. Let's go, girls. Buster Moon, you're the worst showman this he has ever seen. A walking disaster, a loose cannon. The name Buster Moon should go down in entertainment history once and for all. And this bunch of bumbling. Amateurs, too. I will not fund this theater. Au revoir. No, no, I'm sorry, I just. No, 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 don't go! Guys, I'm sorry, but this is over. But it can be over. We made a huge mistake. We let interest come before the show. We were so selfish. This was not teamwork. We're really sorry, but at least we're still together. Yeah, and you know what? I bet we can find another place to put in the show. The show, guys? We're done. This is not what we planned. It's not what we had in mind. Don't you see? It's over. Mr. Moon, I know you're sad right now and probably afraid to try again, but you always tell us, don't let fear stop you from doing the thing you love. And do you know what's the good thing about Peter Rock Bottom is? There is only one way left to go, and that's up! Everyone, out! You're all just passing your private property, and you will live right now. Pastor, say goodbye to your little city theater. What? No, 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 do this! Stop this now. How dare you? This is where the true expression of the artist is realized. The theater is a temple of art, and we must respect it. I will pay for all of his steps. This theater is not dead. <sighs> Mr. Moon. I did not think you were capable of bringing this theater back to life. But what I just saw gives me hope. Now I see you all understand what this is about. Passion, commitment, and teamwork. And I want to be a part of this team too. We'll do this together! Together! <laughs>
de nuevo. Espera. La vida se le confió a mí. Four, five, venga lo mío.